Very good. Shall we then, Eivor, to Norway and well beyond? To Norway, then. Good, good. Lead on. So strange. It has changed, but it feels unfamiliar. A few years abroad have shaped us more than all the decades we spent here, brother. It's bloody cold. Colder than I remember. Fair hair's kingdom now. Every peak and fjord. It pains me to say it, to think it even. And our father is full, the poor man. It is a role he chose. He bent easily and broke in half. Do not pity him. No. For many moons I could not sleep, always thinking of his betrayal. The horrors I wished upon him. He deserves nothing but shame now. Put it out of your mind, Sigurd. There's no need to hound the old man. No. He must taste the same foulness that I taste. He must know what glory he missed by staying here, the lapdog of a conqueror. You want to speak with him? Yes. Face to face. I will tell him the truth. Continue later. Alrek starts. It thrives. In spite of our father, no doubt. Are you sure of this? I will say what needs to be said. Do you fear his rebuke? Oh, no. I crave it. It may be the old hound has lost his bark. Or it may be you will light a fire beneath him. In the glory. If I do, I'll stoke that flame until it burns. Sail down! Make for the dock! Burma, Brota! spends his days in the meat halls and his nights on bad Soon him, guide me. Where did we leave off? Ah, what was it Randy said? Our father spends his days in the meat halls and his nights on barren planks of wood. That's right. We'll search the meat halls. I remember one nearby. A sad hole where men soak their unhappiness. We should... Hey, we were speaking. We should look there. We come empty-handed. Not even a gift that to offer. Rats don't he appreciate gifts. From they sun up lick to sundown. Without you, just you are a gentle brother. Once, just once, I'd had him take a bath. He was a king. We should go. Look at him. Father.
favor. By Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you both. Stop. That is far enough. Blood of cheer. What happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This... this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood. We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? I heard rumors that England was infested with kings already. I thought maybe... Maybe you would return here to... Uh... I have cast aside all dreams of kingship, father. A much greater end lies in wait for me. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only. To say goodbye. And to thank you for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father, as a king, as a man. For without it, I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation. It was your right to pledge your crown to another. And I know you did what you thought best for the safety of our clan. As Harald's forces advanced, I knew we did not have the strength to oppose him. We were too disorganized, too weak. With the sun ever absent, always off raiding in some far-flung land, never concerned with the duties of kingship. What choice did I have but to pledge my allegiance to him? A man with ambition and an army to match it. Absent? I acted only as the son of a king must, to earn you riches, to bring you glory, to praise your name. The people of Constantinople had no use for my name, Sigurd. I needed you here. Listen to this weeping old goat. I wish you whatever peace you may find in this new life you have found. I did not find it, Eivor. I chose it. The only way forward that did not lead to more violence and death and grief your father would have understood. He died to avoid a similar fate, to save his family at the cost of his reputation. No. My father, he... he was... He loved you. That is all. Argon nonsense. I've heard enough. Sigurd, from the day you were born, I wanted nothing more than to pass on my title, my land, my people, to you. But one year is never like another, and with the passage of time, certain truths appeared, unavoidable. Ours was the last kingdom in Norway to resist Harald's advance. To oppose him would have been our death. You do not know that. We could have fought back. We could have, yes. And suffered countless deaths for no other reason than to protect our pride. We will never know the truth. Because you were too afraid to risk it. Look after him, Eivor. And if you have the chance, lead him back from the edge of the abyss. He's my brother, not my dog. Be well, old man, and serve your king with honor. This sad business is finished. Good readers. Now we sail for further shores. To my true purpose. To my destiny. To the end of my road. I will follow you as far as you wish in this world, brother. But if you mean to take us further, 
I may reconsider. I do not think you will, Abel. I think you will marvel at what I have to show you. Still dwelling on your father? Not at all. I was wondering at them. How present they are. Like memories of yesterday. Describe them for me, your visions. My earliest was of a large door embedded in ice, far north of Hördafilke. The Saga stone embedded at the top of its arch. As the visions grew stronger, the door opened, revealing many things. The life tree Yggdrasil, the golden fields of Valhalla, and the faces of our gods, all of whom called me friend, brother, warrior. I felt at home among them, warmed by their love. You should know, you are not alone in this. I too have had visions. Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir. The branches of the world tree, and a man with... Go on. Valka warned me of a great betrayal, but what form it takes I cannot say. I see. I hold to my oath, Sigurd. You know that. Betrayal is not in my nature. Of course not. You are a stalwart as a pillar of stone. Come now. My destiny awaits.
lesser passage. Yes. I feel a great calm as we cross these waves. There's your deal with the Elf King, Alfred. How far have you pushed him? Does he bend? Will he break? Guthrum's army will be chasing him across Wessex now. With luck, he will push Alfred into the sea. Strange how these earthly concerns seem so distant to me. Sail, We've gained ahead. so much in England. And we stand to win even more. The Christians are hardy foes. They see one man above who holds the axe. One man higher than us all. That is a powerful fuel. We hold our own axe. We swing it where we may. The woman, Fulke. In my time with her, as painful as it was, she showed me things. Things so strange and wonderful, I am almost grateful for her treachery. What she did to you was cruel beyond measure. Yet, with every snap of the flame, with every scar, the loss of my arm, my visions grew stronger. If you can find the good in that, fine. But she was as mad as the ocean is wide. Even the mad ones can offer wisdom. Their Jesus was an odd fellow. Now half the known world loves him. And no one believed us when we were young. And we chiseled our plans onto tables in meat halls. Not even my father. There is the secret I know well. Can we not return to England and finish together what we began? No, forget all that. The future is forward. A great wealth awaits us. I'm with you, brother. Until the end. A white rage stands in our way. Keep moving forward! Do you know the way? As I know my own mind. We will cut through this winter sheet like swords through straw. Do not worry. To Paris on a lonely fjord. We'd be the shame of our clan. Ha! That we won't. Up. 
the sail. Yes. Yes, this feels familiar. Abor, we will press on. The rest of you, wait here. For this to pass. Ah, oh, the sting of ice and skin. Revel in this, Eivor. We walk the footpath of the gods. To where? More glaciers and deserts of snow? To glory! Could we not wait until this tempest quiets down? With a ship, where we have mead and food to warm us. No, we must confront the omens and honor the gods. They will not seek or find you! We must go to them! We would be poor company, with frozen bones and ice pellets for ice! You need not fear the cold, Avon. Where we are going, the winds and snows cannot touch! Bitter cold as wind from Niflheim. Keep steady. It should not be far now. Fingers. I hope so. There. The frozen lake. This must be it. And ahead lies a cavern. Will you not say where this leads? Ah, you will see soon enough. I'm too late to turn back, I fear. There! The cave! Within hides the sacred gate! This looks fragile. Can you clear it? <laughs> My heart races. This is it. Gods. This door. Have you seen this before? In the space above. The Sarkis stone sat there, did it not? Long, long ago, yes. Now stand clear. Svachoi nogvat uns membro trurvon di quorde, uns solas vras gnogadide. Unsum hukas reis derae, hukas saunsi. How did you do this? Where did you learn these words? I told you, Eivor. My visions are memories of a life once lived. Come. Gods. What is this place?
Over here. This plate will lead us onward. Sigurd, I... I don't know what to say. This is... all so strange. Trust this place, Eivor. This old and sacred place. Where does it lead? To the Hall of the Slain, the Golden Fields. To Valhalla. vessel? Was it crafted by dwarves? It is finely made, that much is true. I doubt Gunnar could hammer a piece any finer. In this cavern, so deep and humming with magic. tree the tree of life what is this see how proudly she sits how beautiful she gleams here all the roots of life run together the skulls would cry to behold such a sight and there is more to come i swear by all the names of the old father this is only a taste of what i have in store for you for my visions go further to odin's great hall Sacred energies. I have never seen something so grand. This shrine is ours. It will open for us. Watch and see for yourself. How do you know these things? Was all this in your vision? All this. Smaller? Volker's mother? How did she come to be here? Turning to me now, this ancient shrine is set alight by the sphere of metal. And 
These shining arms, these branches, they will grant us access to the refuse of the gods, to Valhalla. Are you ready? Sigurd, take great care. We should not tinker with the tools of the gods. You speak for yourself, Eivor. For I am no mortal. I see that now. I know it. Take your place at the center there, and you will see. What is this place? you would come. Welcome. Are you... Are you Valka's mother? Swala? You have a keen eye, Wolfkist. After all this time, Eivor, we have arrived. Now raise a horn with Freya here and sing a victory song. Sigurd, what is all this? Your, your arm has returned, and your vicar as well. Glory eternal, Eivor. Here we dine in the great hall of the slain, at long last. Oh, I want to scream with joy. This is... This is all so... beautiful. Your visions were... They were real. The battle has closed! Come, dear! To the field! Fight with us! Go, Eivor. Enjoy the fight. You have earned your place here. You are 
This place is incredible! Enough with those short flies! You and I must fight! The battle we never had! And hold nothing back, for here we need not fear a thing! Spill the eternal blood of Asala! <laughs> At last, I share the din of infinite battle with a true trollers! Taste the meal of iron before the day is out. Come on, Wolfkist. Let me cut you a new scar. You will beg for full K when I have done with you. <laughs> Swine! Purr! Honor drunk fool! Brother! Worry not, Aver. <laughs> For we earn no scars here, only battle wisdom. What just happened? Has grown back. It was never gone, Eivor. Not truly. Nothing is permanent here. I told you. Nothing save the courage and reputation of its warriors. Are we immortal in this place? <laughs> Let us discover that together. A new day. the marrow's bed. Again you've lost your arm. And again it will uh, Father? Is that you? That cannot have been my father. Battle cheer. Dearest Skald of war and verse, 
How do you like this frenzy so far? It is... It is quite something. Raise your horn, Eivor. What stops you? My father, Varin. Have you seen him in this hall? I have not. Should he be here? No, he died a coward. Yet by Odin's eye, I swear I've seen him. Cast aside your cares in Valhalla. Let seeking go. We have earned our joy. The journey is complete. Warriors, have you seen Varen? Who? Varen. My father. Varen? Father? Fucking arm, I'll beat a man to death with it. Do you not tire of his injuries? Never. Wait. Father? Eivor, you have a guest. You should have knocked first. Nonsense! I brought you someone. Look! My Eivor! There you are! What a warrior you have made of yourself! I am overfilled with pride. How did you find your way here? You remember our great battle? You remember how we fought, side by side, with your mother and Sigurd and our clans united? We fought, father, but you did not. You died a coward. Eivor, enjoy this. Your father has returned. <laughs> ah! Ah! 
Have you lost all your love for life? That was not my father. That was a lie. That was not a lie. That was my gift to you. I have power here, and I can do as I please. You wished to see your father. I made it happen. As easy as breathing. By Odin's laws, my father is not allowed in this place. I do not wish to see him where he should not be. Your father died doing what he hoped would save you. He died to protect you and his clan. No. He... This is the end of our road, Eivor. This is Valhalla, the eternal golden field. Now come. Battle beckons. How is all this possible? How were the slain brought here? The Valkyries know this. Only them. No. That cannot be true. None of this feels right. Do not despair, Eivor. Look. Your friends are here. Everyone you could ever want is here beside you. No. They are not real. This place can be whatever you wish it to be, Eivor. I do not want it. Not like this. You would resign yourself to an empty death? The ecstasy I feel here is an illusion. I would sooner call like a raven than sing a false song. Illusion or not, here there is no death, no pain, no loss, no betrayal. Not like out there. You want this? To live inside a lie. I am an old woman with a broken body. What life I had left was brief. So I bid farewell to my dear Volka. And came here. I wish you well, Swala. But this is not for me. I must find Sigurd. the fucking arm! Sigurd, this is an illusion. A trick. Leave with me now, and return to England with me. Our people need us. No. I am no one in that world. I am somebody here. Powerful. Capable. A god. Here I may live forever. Here I cannot die. Cows die. Family die. You must die. The only thing that never dies is the reputation of the one who's died. In here, you have no reputation. But out there, it's not too late. Every day the same empty war, the same hollow victory, spilling blood that tastes of water and smells of grass. You have known real battle. 
real glory. But this is not it. You know this. I know you do. Brother, it is time to leave. Am I destined to follow you everywhere? Till the end of my life? All right. We go. No, you stay. I do not give you leave to go. Reputation is a song warriors will sing forever. You are the wolf kissed one who lingered at the edge of death yet fought back. You spilled the raven wine of battle. To paint whole kingdoms red. You have killed kings and crowned them as you desired, bowing to none. stood tall where your brother stumbled, yet still you came to his aid. You have felled many great foes in your brief time. You have earned your place here, Eivor. Seize it. Stand aside. My people need me. I have given you everything you wanted. Everything you needed. You gave me nothing. It was all me. Yet I cleared your path. I guided your axe. You were a fly, buzzing in my ear. How dare you deny me? Everything you believe in stirs before you. Yet, you question all. You question the very gods. <laughs> Fight me. Do not diminish your strength. Your corpse hall is nothing but a dream. Nothing but a dream. A dream is as real as anything in this world. Do dreams not inspire? Do dreams not make us fearful? Do they not push men to their greatest glories? Then I am done with dreaming.
Eivor, stand.
Take off your axe! You good? Are you? Are you with me? See good? Ah, the hanged one awakes. Feet upon the ground once more. Avon, be careful. That's him? What is this? Come closer, Avon. Let me get a better look at you. Leave him be, Basim. For too long I stared at the sun. It blinded me to the truth. That it was you. It was you I wanted all along. Did you track us here? Like a cowardly fox concealed in the brush? You widowed my destiny, Wolfkist. You broke all my hopes. He's mad, Eivor. Silence him. Come, Eivor. Come save your crippled prince of dead ravens. Ah! Are you hurt? It is nothing. No. Kill that background. You must suffer a thousand times what I suffered. What is this about? My son, Eivor. This is about my son. You speak nonsense, Basim. We shared so much in England, fought and bled together. Dig, Eivor, into the wellspring of your memory. Speak your grievance! Show yourself! I do not wish to fight with you! What does battle serve? Let us speak! I have waited countless ages for this moment. No more talk! I, I hunger for this kill.
kill me? <laughs> the kiss of a wolf takes my prize! Of course! Yeah. Rise! You spout nonsense! Like an alehouse drunk! If you are resigned to this, so be it. You will not die in peace. You will never see your home or your people again. Is this what you wanted? I want you to suffer! Finished will be a sack of blood and shattered bones, and my conscience will be clear. Ah, damn! Let us make this more interesting. We'll drag Sigurd into the fray. Coward! Face me! Fight me here! me no joy, Justice Bringer. You were always so kind, but you chose the wrong side. <laughs> I am your prize, Basim. Come. You are indeed. <laughs> Will you not die? Not here. Not by your hand. Sigurd! 
Stop this thing! Now it's fire! Seagull! How long had Bassin been planning this treachery? I dare not guess. Gods! Am I to be hounded by a parade of blood-minded traitors the whole of my life? There is no end to this. You have something you want to say? Then say it. I... I need some time to breathe. Let me sit a moment. man's anger, his rage. It had a familiar sting that I... I cannot place. He was raving, Sigurd. Without sense or reason. Paid no mind. I am not mad, Eivor. These things I see and feel, I know they are true. I know, brother. Now more than ever. You always spoke true. We should cast our eyes towards home. It is a long journey and I am... not well. Home. Eivor. On our journey here, I had much time to think. On the ecstasies and the agonies of our friendship. I am not the man I was. My time as the Jarl of our clan has run short. You must lead us now. Do you mean this? Randvi told me of your bravery, your courage, your wisdom. In my absence, you were a pillar of stone. She admires you. And I her. But that cannot be the only reason. When Dar called you out and challenged you to a duel, you let him die with honor, in spite of his betrayal. He did what he felt was right, and I honored that. I recall our days in Oxenefortshire, our search for the Sacker Stone. You disagreed with my orders, but you followed them. You questioned my methods, my aims, but you did not disobey. And when I passed judgment on Holger, you let my sentence lie. Though I knew you disagreed, the look on your face said all. And I remember and admire the way you guided us from Norway to England. You kept my anger in check, my ambitions focused. It was a trying time. In all my days away, in my fog of confusion, you have shown great wisdom and strength and leadership. Where you go, Eivor, I will follow. Our clan is yours to lead. Thank you, brother. I... I won't let you down. You have a stormy look. Years ago, before we left for England, I saw a vision. A vision that foretold a betrayal. That I would betray you. I refuse to believe. I would never do such a thing, I told myself. But in the years since, I have robbed you of your dreams. Of England, of Valhalla. If you feel I have wronged you, brother, I will make it right. We cannot unweave our fates, Eivor. All is laid before us, from the day we are born. To be angry at this would be like... Like wrestling the ocean. A pointless struggle. We two racket ravens. What a saga we have inscribed together. A tale for the ages.
Bex, I'm coming out. Steady, Layla. Were you watching my feed? What the hell was all that? I think that was the solution to our problem. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Desmond. Desmond? What about him? He was just a bartender before he joined us. Not even a very good one. And that's when he learned his real purpose. He was like a... I don't know, like a singularity. You know? A vanishing point. All of human history seemed to converge on him. In 2012, the sun threw off a mass coronal ejection so large, it should have wrecked all life on Earth. I remember. I worked at Abstergo then. It was Desmond who saved us. He knew how to stop it. Abstergo claimed credit for that. Something about their satellite network. That's bullshit. It was Desmond. He pulled the switch that saved the world. But that switch is still on. Still generating a magnetic field. One that's growing stronger every day. The temple Eivor found. That's where the field originates. Exactly. And it's been running for eight years. Getting stronger and stronger. It'll be dangerous now. Heat, radiation... Doesn't matter. We have to fix it. Shut it down. No, no, no. Slow it down. It's still protecting us. All of this is starting to make sense. Everything I've done, everything I've learned, had led me here to this moment. You'll need the staff for this one. For protection. Otherwise, you won't make it past the first gate. Right, of course. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. I'll pack the van. Then I'll contact our ship. It can be in Boston Harbor by tomorrow night. Thanks, Bex. Thanks for keeping it steady in there. You surf this thing better than anyone I know. That's not true, is it? Well, nearly. Be careful out there. And come back in one piece. Thanks, Bex. I'm ready. It's a long way to Beantown. Hop in. Sean, I'm here. Ah, good. Your signal's already a little wobbly. Are you inside? Not yet, but there's a hundred feet of ice above me. All right. We may lose touch when you push through, so remember what we talked about. Watch your meters carefully, for radiation especially, and keep the staff close. Got it. Standing by. Zawahoe Nakwat, Unsme Borturwan di Quarde, Ul Solus Fras Hunakudi De, Unzum Huraz, Des Dere has, Zohumsi. I'm in. Good. And remember, do not cut the machine off. Just throw it down. The field it generates, but still protect the earth. 
I hear you. The elevator still works. Ah, uh, 75,000 years. What's another millennium or two? It's getting hotter already. Yes, by our reckoning, it's gonna go up by about 16 degrees Celsius. How does it draw so much power? Tectonics is our best theory. The movements of the Earth's crust, the churning lava beneath. Huge source of energy. That's tech humans should have. Energy, not pieces of Eden. You're breaking up, Sean. Say that again, please. You're breaking up. Forget it. I'll call you when I'm topside. What, what are you by calling us when you're topside? Tell me right back. Here we go. There you are. You're working overtime. It must have collapsed when the ice melted. all that melted ice. Don't look down.
Why would anyone want to end their life here, unless they felt it was just beginning? Basim, after a thousand years, you're not looking so well. It's just like the Animus. It's just like the Animus. Was Valhalla, or, or a simulation of it. So what am I looking for? Will I know it when I see it? Something feels off. What is this? Are you doing this? Are you pushing this machine to its limit? Who's your master? Is he here? They flatter me. I am only a guest in their world. A world spun of wishes and hopes. Basim, you sent the message. You led us to Eivor's grave. Yes. A hopeful message, was it not? How? You've been trapped here for a millennium. Eivor put you here. Indeed. But I'm not alone in this place. Not always. I have a friend who helps me. Together, we read the calculations. After we located Eivor's probable resting place, I contacted you. Through the digital lattice that inwebs this earth like a spider's nest. In our day, all the world was connected like this. A superorganism of technology. The staff you carry the temples you have visited, all of it speaks as one. May I show you something? I imagine you can do anything you want in this place. Not as much as you might think. I am tethered to my body in a most uncomfortable way. But you can slow this machine down. You know how it works. Yes. We'll do it together for another catastrophe is near at hand. This node of time has an ugly way of correcting itself. Go ahead. You're a hard man to trust. You must know that. You're not obliged to trust me. But this is all I can offer. God damn it.
has come. At peace. At last, we rest. Is that it? Is it done? Basim! Where are you? What is that? Layla, hello. You know me? Yes, through the calculations I read here in the gray. Eight years ago, the odds of your arrival were 15,055,003,276 to 1. As the years passed by, those odds improved. And as of yesterday, near even. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. Who are you? And what is this? I am the reader of the calculations. All these possible futures for you and the world outside. I have spent much of my new life reading these, searching for a way to finish everything we started so long ago. It begins here. You slow down this machine and save the world, from which point all possible futures expand. Millions upon millions of possible roads. But in every one, another catastrophe recurs. The node collapses and the world is wiped out. The human race dwindles and fades. I must keep looking. I must find the solution for you. I must leave you with something. This node? This is right now where I slow down this machine? Yes. I start all my calculations from this point. The only thing I know for certain. That seems limiting. How do you mean? What if you went back further, to 2012 when Desmond saved the world? Desmond? What if he didn't save the world? What if he walked away and let the world burn? Look at those timelines. Read them instead. I see. An interesting idea. Fascinating. Billions upon billions of new timelines to explore. Exactly. These are timelines that never came to pass, but they could have. If Desmond had let the world be destroyed, maybe the humans that survived would have learned something from the disaster. And maybe in one of those timelines, they could have found a way to prevent it from happening ever again. That is brilliant. How did you come to that idea? If you spend too much time narrowing down what's possible, you may never give another thought to the improbable. Thank you for your insights, Layla. It's only the beginning. We have a lot of data to sift through. Are you staying? Until we find something useful, I will. I don't want this to happen ever again. You may not have much time, Layla. The machine is powered down, but the radiation... It will linger for decades. By my calculations, you have 73 seconds before your exposure is lethal. I'm not worried. I have the Staff of Eden. It heals and protects. No. You do not. What? How? Of course. Of course? Fuck! Alright. We'll find a solution together. However long it takes. And if that means I can never leave... So be it. I owe this to the people I... I hurt. And the people I love. Yes. I know the feeling. Let's get going, huh? A few billion timelines might take a while. It will. But it will not feel like it. That is what I like about this place.
with you. It worked perfectly, my dear. Is the mad one here? No, my love. Only we remain. And Layla? that. But I'm not afraid. And I'm not alone. We have work to do. Work that may take us days or years. It's impossible to say. But we'll finish it. What I mean is, don't come looking for me. It's too dangerous and... and too late. Take care of yourself. You see, she's fine. In a manner of speaking. A manner of speaking? Jesus! We have to find her! You heard her. She doesn't want to be rescued. Bullshit. In any case, there's nothing left to save. Not after this long. Because of you! You left her there! This... This is all a bit much. I know I'm in the same situation. No, no. You're in a class all your own, man. We're assassins now, not hidden ones. From the Arabic, Hashishin. Ah. And do we have a mentor? Is that still the practice? We do. Name? William Miles. William Miles. I'd like to meet William Miles. Would you bring him to me? We can call him. Encrypted line. You can talk to him right now. No technology. Face to face. A meeting of minds. It's time to take the fight to these... these Templars, as you call them. I won't go anywhere, my friends. Your animus is in good hands. How much do you know? My dear, we invented such things long, long before you did. I'll figure it out. It's a nice place to die, Eivor. Not everyone gets to choose. You bested me. I don't know how, but you did. Yet, I'm the one left standing. And now, I can take from you anything I want. Your memories, your skills, your secrets. They're all mine. And when I have them, I will put them to good use to find my children and bring my family back together. The bleeding effect shouldn't take long to kick in, 
A few days at most. So here we go. Steady, Avon. Good. Tovi. Welcome home. Missed a great feast, it seems. Eivor! Sit a moment and rest. Sigurd. For me. Gods, you are back. Safe and standing tall. Did you... Did you find what you were looking for? We did. We did. But it was not for us. What is this? I... Um... Turned inside of the hearth, come. Your secret is no longer safe. Hey, Von, Ranvi, what is this? Is everything all right? Our Jarl has returned to lead us forward into an uncertain future. Will you speak to your people? For love and joy, words can jade. Our souls must sound in a heartful song. And when... No. You are less mine than I am yours. And I ask of you only this. Keep me honest in the times to come. Hearken well in Hall of Kings On ocean steed my words gain wings Odin's 
Fight for we who Sigurd, Eivor, before you say more, I must tell you something. Randvi and I have, uh, have ended our marriage. I am sorry to hear that. Ah, do not be. We adore one another dearly, but our marriage was not built on love. We were brought together as an act of peace. I was pledged to her well before I knew her. And though we have tried to settle our differences and find love in our faults, it has not worked out. And so we have dissolved our bond. Yet as a clan, we will grow together. Then I'm glad for you both, and for the rest of us. This place would not be the same without you two. to see you. I want to see the Alliance map. Hamptonshire. The last Saxon stronghold. And very heavily guarded. King Alfred is preparing for war. You will meet tremendous resistance. As will Alfred. Is Guthrum Jarl there with his army? He is. He and Uber have gathered a sizable force and intend on launching an attack on Alfred soon. If we support their assault, England will fall to us. A pagan land where a multitude of gods may freely roam. I will go to Hamptonshire and speak with Guthrum. Send word to our allies to gather in the Thames just outside the Shire. I will. May the gods share in this, our final victory. What is it? Eivor, you must not go. You must not. The signs, the portents, they shout and veil. Your leaving will be our doom. Speak clearly, Volker. What have you seen? I have thrown the bones, I have stirred the offal of beasts, and in the rising steam I saw the end of it all! Though this battle you may win, this war you will not. Your foe will be your master, your hope will be your grief. This is fate. Our fate. I thank you for this, Valka, but the yarns of fate are too frayed for me to follow now. I owe this fight to my friends and allies, and I will see it through. Go then, with great care. But know that the home you leave will not be the home to which you return. 